Recently I found two old rusty hand saws on the top of a skip by the side of a road and I thought about maybe trying to restore one of them just for fun but the teeth were in really bad shape and these are cheap hand saws to buy anyway so it didn't really seem worth it. But then I had another idea which was to make some card scrapers using the steel from these saws. I already have two card scrapers. I have this one by Barco which I bought on Amazon and this is my go-to scraper. It's really good and I'll leave a link to this in the description box below. My second scraper is also from Amazon but I don't like this one so much mainly because it's shorter than the Barco one. So it takes more pressure using my thumbs to bend it and after a while you end up getting thumb ache. So for the scrapers that I'm going to attempt to make, I'm going to keep them the same size as the Barco or possibly even longer still. It'll be nice to have another couple of scrapers available because I want to keep one on my van and another one for the workshop so that when I'm using one and it gets dull I can just swap over to another one and carry on working. I'm going to make as many as I can get out of these saws and any extras that I don't need I'm going to give away at the end of this video so stick around for that. First I need to remove all of the rust and dirt from these saws. For that I'm going to use one of these wire wheels for the angle grinder. This rust was really quick and easy to clean off. Even though the saws looked really rough, the rust was just sitting on the surface. The handles could then be unscrewed. And I always keep hold of any old screws like these ones. You never know when they might come in handy but the handles went in the bin. I used some 120 grit sanding discs to clean up the metal a little more and this made it nice and shiny. Hello. You coming in? No. Here I'm using the Barco scraper as a template to mark up the shapes I wanted using a Sharpie pen. And out of the length of the saw, I could get two scrapers which would be a little bit longer than the Barco by about 15 millimeters. I swapped over the wire wheel for a cutting disc in my angle grinder and I used a scrap piece of MDF underneath the saw to protect my workbench and then I made some scoring cuts. I'm not great with an angle grinder, I need to get a bit more experience using them but I was able to get most of the scoring cuts quite straight just by taking my time. And once a good scoring cut is established it's quite easy to follow the next cut in a straight line and I just kept taking passes until I cut all of the way through. Because some of my cuts were not perfect, I used my bench sander just to clean them up and make sure that they were straight. Every so often I sprayed on some water just to keep the metal cool. I also used the disc sander to get the short edges square to the longer edges. Not that they really need to be square, but I figured I'd take the time to make them look decent. Next I could prepare the edges for cutting and I've already posted a full detailed video about how to prepare a card scraper for use and I'll link to that in the description box below if you're interested. I'll also leave links to all of the tools that I'm using to do this like the diamond plates and the burnisher. But basically I polish the faces until the edges look clean from end to end. Then I polish the edges until they look clean from end to end too. And then I burnish the edge of the faces. and then the long edges of the scraper. Personally, I don't bother preparing the short sides of the scrapers as I just don't find those that useful, so I just stick to the long edges. I really wasn't sure if these were going to work. First I tried one out on some pine and I was absolutely blown away by how well they cut. So then I tried it on some hardwood, beech in this case, and again, fantastic results. They seem to work better than my real card scrapers. Maybe I just got lucky turning good burrs this time round. I'm not sure, but they work great. 
So after a decent amount of use, the steel in these scrapers seems really good for edge retention and the burrs seem to last just as long as my other card scrapers. The steel is a little bit thicker though, so it does take a little bit more pressure to flex them, but not by much. I made four of these scrapers in total and I'm just going to keep two of them, one for my van and an extra one for the workshop. So I'd like to give the other two away, one on Patreon and one on YouTube. The edges will be fully prepared with burrs ready to use. And if you're interested in winning one, leave a comment below and include hashtag giveaway and I'll pick a winner in about a week or so. And if you are a patron of the channel on Patreon, I'll do a post there asking if you want to be included in the giveaway and then I'll pick a winner there too. It took me about two hours to make four of these scrapers, so it was a nice quick and easy project. If you've got an old handsaw that's no longer cutting well and it's not worth the time and effort to try and restore it, then this is a great way to make use of something that would otherwise be thrown away. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already for more weekly woodworking videos. And thank you for watching.